Hey, what's up guys? Paul here. Welcome back to Hub City Drones. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. I really do appreciate it. Something else I'd really appreciate, hit that subscribe and that notify button for me so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and so you don't miss your chance at winning a free drone. Yep, as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, you guys, I'm gonna have my very first drone giveaway and I'm gonna give away three drones to three lucky subscribers. You do have to be a visible subscriber to win, but hey, who doesn't want to win a free drone, right? So make sure you hit that subscribe and notify button so you're automatically entered to win. But today we are going to check out one of the coolest drones I have ever reviewed before you guys. It's from Air Selfie. The company name pretty much says it all. It's their brand new Air Neo self-flying selfie drone. You heard me right, self-flying you guys. In fact, this little dude doesn't even come with a physical controller. You just hold him in the palm of your hand, you toss him in the air, he'll fly away from you take a couple selfie pics or even a short video then when he's done this dude actually flies back to you and lands in the palm of your hand super cool it's got a built-in rechargeable battery plus you can even get the air selfie power bank with it sold separately of course this power bank will charge this little dude up to six full charges you guys it makes it perfect to take anywhere you want to go barbecues picnics family reunions birthday parties if you have kids in the house and they're really into taking selfies or making TikTok or Instagram videos, they're absolutely going to love this little drone, you guys. It's going to just change their selfie game altogether. You're going to love the price. $159.99 on Amazon right now. Not bad at all. The link, of course, down in the description. I say we go unbox it. We'll check out everything we get with it. Then we'll set it up. Really easy to do. Then... I guess we'll put it up in my living room and we'll take some selfies and make a couple TikTok videos with this dude and see what he can do. Let's go get started. All right, let's get this dude out of the box and check him out. This is the box that it comes in. Air Selfies, Air Neo. It's an AI powered auto flying camera, 12 megapixel, 1080p. And it looks here, I did not know that, but it looks like they were a Consumer Electronics Show's Innovation Award nominee in 2022. That would be this year. That is super cool. You have your QR codes on the side over here to get to the app. On the back, we have all of our technical information about the drone. You got your dimensions, weight, flight times, all that good stuff is right here. So let's get him out of here and check him out. A box in a box. Super cool. It's got selfies just plastered all over the box. That is pretty cool. Got some info down here on the bottom. Pretty cool box. I like it. It's, it's very well made too. And it has a magnetic latching side panel. Uh, super cool here we go wow he's really cool he's smaller than I thought he was gonna be that's cool over here you got some information about the drone now they advertise that you can take the drone and it comes partially charged you can actually pull it out of the box turn it on and you could put it up in the air right away I would absolutely recommend reading the manual and if you haven't noticed this drone does not come with a physical manual the manual is in the app and I will show you exactly where to go to pull that manual up. Even though it's just a little selfie drone, you guys, read the manual top to bottom. Learn everything you can about this little dude before you put him up in the air. You know what I always say, don't be a drone dummy. All right, here we go. We're going to take him out of the box. Ooh, check it out. 
I'm gonna move this. There is some more stuff in the box. We'll get to that in a few minutes, but let's check this little dude out first. So it looks like we have a thank you for your purchase card. And we have a air selfie warranty card here continued on the back because there is a QR code back here that you can scan. Scan the QR code, go check the warranty out guys. It's absolutely worth it. And now the Air Neo. So we have another sleeve here that has the QR codes for the app. So they have made it super easy to find the app. <laughs> well, let's pull them off here and see what we got. There's our drone. Wow, he's really cool looking. We have the Air Neo logo right here on the top. And I like the feel of this little dude. It's like a rubberized coating over it. And it actually feels super well made. I mean, there's really no squishiness to this thing at all. That's really cool. So on the front is our camera. This is our selfie camera. You have a couple LED indicator lights here. This one over here is your power mode indicator light. Over here is your picture, video, and charging indicator light. This light will stay on red while you're charging the drone. When it goes off, your drone is fully charged. Very cool. On the side here, we have our SD card. Now this dude actually comes with a 16 gig SD card. That's pretty cool too. You just pop it right in there. The card comes already installed. Over here, we just have another design little vent so it can breathe and keep it cool. And our charging port, type C charging port, our power button. I really like the way these motors are in here. They're just laid sideways onto these little blades. That is really cool. And they're pretty much completely enclosed, so you can catch it in your hand and you're not going to chop your finger up. Although they're tiny blades, they really wouldn't do much but maybe scare the heck out of you a little bit. <laughs> so to charge this dude, it has a built-in 3.7 volt 500 mAh LiPo drone engine. You can charge it with a 5 volt 2 amp charger box or you can actually charge it with the additional power bank that you can purchase. I think they're like $49.99. Absolutely worth it if you wanna take this little dude on the road, on vacation, to a picnic, barbecue, anything like that. This bank will charge the drone. Now, plugged in with the 5 volt uh, charger box, it takes 40 minutes to charge the battery fully. The power bank, exactly the same. I was super impressed that this power bank actually charged the drone as quick as it did plugging it into the wall. And it's really cool. And what else is really cool about this charger bank, it's a 5000 mAh battery in here. I'll pull it out and show you guys here real quick. You get an additional USB Type-C charging cable. Not Type-C, I'm sorry, it's the micro USB. This is the one you use to charge your power bank. My bad. But check it out. The power bank is actually smaller than the drone <laughs> so very portable you can put this in one pocket put the drone in the other pocket but again 5000 mAh battery you guys it charges the battery in 40 minutes to fully charge it you can get up to six full charges out of one fully charged power bank that was pretty damn impressive i figured i was going to get one or two out of it i got six almost six and a half to be honest with you before it actually had to be recharged Brilliant idea to get this little dude if you're going to travel with it, take it on vacation, like I said before. Just an awesome idea. That was just brilliant for them to come out with a little bank like that for it. All right, there is more to this little dude because you get a couple little bonus accessories in the box here. I mean, get them out of here. Let's check it out. So there is this box within this box <laughs> and check it out you get one set of spare propeller blades. Not that you may ever need to use these because they are really well protected in here, but very awesome. You get a spare set just in case you need them. And remember, there is an A and B uh, propeller. You have, let's see if I have it right. Yep, okay, so you have your A, B, and then it reverses at the bottom. This is A and B. You have to match the propeller, the A propeller to the A arm. This dude doesn't have arms, but that's how it works or he's not gonna fly. If he does, it ain't gonna be pretty. One USB Type-C charging cable. This is the cable I was looking for. You just plug it into the back here, charge him up. Again, 40 minutes for a full charge. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but you do get about six to seven minutes per battery. So not bad. 
you know, with this and the power bank, you could definitely get enough selfies and short videos at a birthday party. If you're, if you have teens, they're absolutely going to love this thing. It's super easy to fly and they can take selfies. It's absolutely going to change the way they take their selfies. And one air selfie velvet tote. Very cool. Drone just plops into here and it actually has room. <laughs> Check it out for the power bank. And you can put them both right in here. And this would actually fit in your pocket just like this, but you could carry it. Super cool. So as I mentioned before, this dude does not come with a remote control, a physical one. There is one in the controller. I'll show you that in a little bit when we do our setup. Now, when you do the auto fly, the furthest away he's going to fly from you, I think it's like six to eight feet. He'll back up, take your pictures or your videos. Now, you can fly this dude like a normal drone, which I thought was super cool. It has a controller built into the app. The range doing it that way is 60 feet. So that's pretty damn good for a little drone like this. Not bad at all. So if you want to fly it like a regular drone, you can take pictures and videos while you're doing it. You can get them up to 60 feet away. That's our Air Neo, guys. I'm going to clean this up. Let's get him set up and we're going to put him up in the air and we're going to check him out and we're going to take some selfies. Okay guys, time to set the Air Neo up so we can get him up in my living room and take some selfies. First thing you want to do, download the app. Remember there are QR codes on the side of the box and on the sleeve the drone came in inside the box. Scan the QR code with your phone, it'll take you right to the app, download it. So let's go ahead and open up the app and check it out. First open it, that is your home screen. You do have a couple tutorial videos that you can watch that show you how the drone operates and works. And then the bottom right one here is one that will show you how to fly the drone like a normal drone with a controller. At the very bottom, I'll go through these real quick. You have your camera. There are two different cameras or two different controllers per se on the drone. You have the single hand one where you can just hold the phone with one hand and control the drone up and down, back and forth. And then your gallery. This is where you go and all your pictures that you have taken will be stored here. You have your favorites. Now when you have pictures here at the very bottom of this uh, section of the app will be a little uh, menu screen down here and it will let you share them, save them, all that other good stuff. And it's really cool that you can actually just pick the photo or video you want, click on share, and you can automatically upload it to your Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you're into. You can send it right over there and post it right away. All right, out of here. Back to home. All right, let's select our Air Selfie. You see the pop up there, it's got two different ones. We have the Neo, so we're gonna select Air Neo. There is your opening screen for your Air Neo. Now, before I get any further, you guys, I wanna show you where to go to get the manual for this drone. The little question mark right here at the top right-hand corner, all you're gonna do is tap on it. It's gonna take you to a Air Selfie support page. You're gonna scroll down, you'll see Air Neo, tap on it you're at the air neo support page go down to where it says air neo manual and tap on it and there's your manual you guys everything you need to know is right there it's a very well laid out detailed manual it's got actual photos instead of uh, cartoon graphics of the drone and you can go through and it just tells you how to do everything from charging it to calibrating it to connecting to the wi-fi Please make sure you guys get to that manual and, and read it. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Back to our app. Now we're gonna connect our Neo to the app. First thing we need to do is turn on the drone. You're gonna take your power button in the back and you're just gonna long press it until the blue light on the front comes on. It will blink, you can let it go, you can see there. We have a slow fade, now a quick blink. We're gonna set him down. Now you're gonna go to your app and you're gonna hit the connect button. This pop-up pops up. You're gonna wanna hit open settings. This is gonna take you to your Wi-Fi settings on your cell phone. Tap it in your available networks. Give it a few seconds, it will pop up. You can see it, it's right there, Air Neo. Now the dash and those numbers are gonna be different for every drone. 
but it will say Air Neo. We're gonna tap on it. It's gonna connect. It's gonna check the quality internet and it's gonna tell you you are connected without internet. Perfectly okay. We do not need internet to fly the drone. Remember, you don't even need the phone to fly the drone. That's a pretty cool catchphrase, no phone drone. All right, anyway, back to the app. Now you may also get a pop-up that is telling you, that will tell, ask if you wanna keep the Wi-Fi settings or switch to cellular data. Keep the Wi-Fi setting, that's what you need. Now if you notice on our app, it says calibrate. Simple, easy to do, all you're gonna do is tap the calibrate button and you'll see the light, the light on your drone is gonna blink really quick for a couple of seconds, if that, and you are calibrated. Remember, do your calibration, as it says here, on a flat level surface. Hit calibrate, there our light goes. I'll show you the app. You can see there it has a little percentage of calibration. Now it says, Air Selfie was successfully calibrated. We're gonna hit done. I'll show you the drone again your light has gone back to a slow, steady fade. Your air selfie is now ready to put up in the air and take some pictures. So real quick through the app, at the top here, underneath that question mark, it actually has the Neo's battery level, so you can keep an eye on how much battery you have left. Down here, these are some kind of cheat sheets. You can go to your tilt mode control, and this actually is the one I was talking about where you can hold the controller with one hand to fly the drone. Everything you need to know is right there. It tells you how to do it, what everything means. Close that one. Your joystick mode. This is the one you would use if you want to fly this dude like a normal mini drone and put it up in the air and fly it around up and down, all it left and right, turn it, take pictures of whatever you want and videos. And then the auto fly button shortcut. This is your little cheat sheet right here for all your auto fly modes. Auto fly is exactly that. You don't need the phone, you don't need anything but the drone. It tells you how many times to click it when you do it. You're gonna click the power button on the back of the drone. The drone is gonna start up. You're gonna to toss it in the air. It's gonna fly out a few feet and it's gonna take your pictures. Now in auto fly mode, it is defaulted to two pictures for each of the uh, wide selfie mode and the zoom auto fly selfie mode. If you're flying it through the app, and using the app, you can change that from two, three, or five pictures. That's really cool. So we're getting out of here. Now we're gonna hit camera. And we are gonna see if we have video. There we go, we actually do have video. I'm gonna actually switch it over to the controller one because it's a bigger picture. So we're gonna tap it, check it out. We have video. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that is really a great clear picture on this little dude but that's the controller right there I'll go over this when we put it up in the air other than that we'll get out of there that is pretty much the app you guys there's not a whole lot to it it's really easy to use everything you need to get to is right here so we are good to go let's go put this little dude up in my living room and when you say we take some selfies and a couple videos and we're gonna check it out and see how good this little thing works. Okay guys, here we go. Time to finally get this dude in the air. I'm gonna go through the modes backwards because I really wanna check that 360 degree spin mode out. This would be perfect if you just got a new apartment or something like that, or say your wife let you get a man cave and you wanna show your friends, put it up in the middle of the room, 360 degree panoramic video of your new room perfect for that let's get it up in the air and check him out i want to see how good this works here we go cool he'll take a couple seconds he's going to get his bearings and his altitude and all that the red light will come on on the front and he's going to start spinning he's getting ready there he goes he's spinning around that's pretty cool you can walk with him, point out everything in your new room. That's awesome. The light should blink and he's gonna come back to us and he's gonna land in our hands. Here they go. Just like that. That was cool, you guys. Let's go through the other modes. We'll check out the video mode. I wanna show you how this guy will track you even if you move around. And then we'll take a couple selfies, check him out. Okay, guys, here we go, video mode. 
four clicks on the power button we're going to put him in the air he'll back up a little bit and then he's going to record like a 15 second video but what's really cool about this is if you're doing some crazy TikTok dance and you have to move around the drone actually will follow you forward backward left and right i'll show you when we get in here it's really cool it's almost like a follow me mode on a, a gps drone so we're going to click him four times get him in the air and check it out see how it works here we go all right there goes our motors up we go oh i think he found us because he's backing up the light should come on and he'll start doing a video there he goes now watch this i'm going to move check him out he's actually moving with us which is really cool and he actually responds really quick go forward he'll go backward there he goes and then when he's done both lights again will blink and he's going to come back to us which he should do right about now here he goes <laughs> and land right in our hand Now we're going to do the selfie mode. What's really cool about this, there's two different ones. There's a far away and a close up one. But if you choose these two modes through the app, you can actually change the number of selfies it will take. You can do two, three, or I believe it's five, which is really cool. We're going to do the far away one. I want to see how well it works. I'm going to back up just a little bit because he goes back about eight feet. I'm going to click the button twice. We'll get him in the air. And I guess we're going to strike our best pose for a selfie. Here we go. There go our motors. There he goes. Oh, so he found us already. He locked on. He's backing up. That's pretty cool. This thing works great, you guys. The lights are going to blink. There he goes. He's taking our picture. There it is. He took two pictures. Now he should come back to us. And we're going to catch him. Here he comes. Just like that. That was cool. This little dude works great. Okay, guys, time for my final thoughts on the Air Neo from Air Selfie. This little dude is absolutely one of the coolest drones I have ever reviewed, you guys. I couldn't believe how easy it was to use, and it actually takes really great selfie pics and videos. I said at the beginning of the video, if you have kids in the house that are into TikTok videos or taking selfie pics, absolute game changer for them they're gonna love this and it's super easy they'll have no problem learning how to use it whatsoever i like the fact that it's small enough to put in your pocket and that you can purchase that power bank to go with it sold separately of course perfect to take on a vacation anywhere you're no longer going to have to stop someone and ask them to take your picture and you're no longer going to be behind the camera taking the picture just put this dude up take your picture off to the next attraction Plus, you don't even have to wait till you get home to post your vacation pics because they made it super easy to do right there in the app. $159, steal for this little drone, you guys. I have the link in the description. Click on it before you go on vacation. Or if you have kids that are into TikTok videos and selfie pics, they're absolutely going to love this little drone, you guys. That's going to do it for this video. Remember, hit that subscribe and that notify button for me so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and so you don't miss your chance at winning a free drone. Have fun, stay safe out there, you guys, and remember, don't be a drone dummy.